Hi everyone. Today in this video we are discussing on how to manage asset category in Odoo 13. It is an astonishing element that when you check in the Odoo 13 accounting you won't find any option of asset category rather you may find the option of asset model. In Odoo 12 it was asset category whereas in Odoo 13 accounting it is labeled as asset model. You can create asset models to make your asset entries faster. It is particularly useful if you recurrently buy the same kind of assets. Let us see the configuration of asset model. For that first of all let us go to the accounting module. Now this is the accounting module. Let's go to the configuration and from there we can take the option of asset model so this is the asset model page and here we can see already created asset models let us click on the create button to create a new asset model this is the page or form to create asset model let us give a name to this model laptop now we have the depreciation method here we have three methods linear degressive accelerator degressive so here we are opting for linear linear method of depreciation then we have duration here we are giving duration is three and three years here we have also other parameters we can keep it as months or years here we are keeping it, it as years pro rata temporaries we are not giving it as pro rata presently now we have the field of accounting here we have to mention some of the accounts like first of all fixed asset account we shall create a new fixed asset account create and edit so here we can create the fixed asset account let's give a code first name then type the type of this account is fixed then we have automate asset few options here when you create or edit an account of which the type is either non current asset or fixed assets you can configure it to create asset for the expenses that are created on it automatically so when we give no here nothing will happen default value will be effected then if we give create in draft whenever a transaction is posted on this account a draft asset entry is created but not validated then if give create and validate transaction is posted on the account a draft asset entry will be created and it is validated immediately here in this account type we are keeping it as no now let's save it depreciation account is auto populated here but we shall create a new account for this let's give the code number Let's give name. And the type is fixed. Automate asset is kept as no. Let's save it. 
now the expense account you should create one let's give the code name for this expense account and the type appreciation let's save it and we have to mention a journal here keeping it miscellaneous operations so here we have configured as a model let us save it now let us go to configuration and take the chart of accounts this is the asset we have just created laptop and now we shall keep the automate asset as create and validate and a new field appears asset model here we have to mention the model we have just created laptop now we shall save it now to see this as a model's effect we shall create a vendor bill create one we shall select the vendor click on add a line on the label and we have to mention the account laptop we have created just now we shall give a price for this so we are created just post it so when we post a new smart button of asset is appearing here just enter into it here we can see the asset we have created click on it so this is the asset page of laptop we have created vendor bill for this we shall edit it so here we can see that odoo has generated the entries automatically for us it is based on the linear for 3 years and we can see that all this accounting part is based on the asset model which we have created depreciation method everything is based on the asset model we have created for this laptop and here we can see few more options we can sell or dispose this asset laptop or if we want we can set it as draft it again if anything happens if we want to pause the depreciation of this asset we can pause it if we want to modify the depreciation we can modify it by clicking here and we can save also this model from here and the depreciation method we have given here is linear and the duration is 3 years and here we can see the first depreciation date so during these 3 years 
when the entries are posted we can see the posted entries clicking on this posted entries smart button so this is the way it will be posted Odoo has generated the entries automatically for us so this is how we manage asset model and its effect in Odoo 30 thank you for watching if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info at cybrosis.com